What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to go over some of the brand new Mimigool TCG exclusive archetype. So today I watched a European Yugi tuber uh, open up a box of Infinite Forbidden uh, which is two weeks early which is crazy. So obviously it had in it some of the TCG exclusive cards and I tried to screenshot as many as I could just before it gets deleted or something because it is two weeks early. So chances are it probably wasn't supposed to be put up on YouTube and probably wasn't supposed to be uh, opened. Um, I will not reveal the name of the Yuki Tuber just in case but um yeah, so in let's get into uh, the three Mimigool cards and then look out for the other videos uh, showcasing some of the other um, imports that we got. So yeah, so this is Mimigool Cerberus. It is an Earth level 1 beast flip effect monster with 400 attack and 1800 defense. It Flip effect is if uh, it is... If it is the main phase, apply these effects in sequence. So you can banish the top three cards of your deck and then special summon one of the banished monsters to your opponent's field and defense position. So that doesn't really make sense until you read the second part of the effect, which is give control of this card to your opponent. Uh, during your main phase, you can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's field and face down defense position. You can only use the effect of Moving Ghoul Cerberus once per turn. Uh, your opponent cannot target uh, face up spells. You control with card effects. So basically what you do is you have this card in your hand uh, and then you'll special summon it to face down defense position to your opponent's side of the field. And when it is flipped, it will banish three cards from the top of your opponent's deck. Uh, and then you can get one of your opponent's cards that were banished, special summon it, and then get your Mimi Ghoul Cerberus back to your field. So basically it's two cards for price of one, but flip effects are very, very slow. So we'll see how the other cards get on. And the next card we're going to go into is Mimigool Maker, which is a spell card. So it is reveal two flip monsters with different names from your deck. Uh, your opponent randomly picks one for you to special summon to your to their field and face down defense position. Uh, and you can add the other to your hand. Then you can special summon one Mimigool monster from your hand. And if your opponent special summons a monster except during the damage step, you can banish this card from the grave and then target one face down monster your opponent controls. Change it to face up attack or defense position. You can only use effect maybe go maker uh, effect once per turn. So basically what you do is, let's say if you were to... Um, use two of your Mimigool services, you would uh, special summon... Um, you would special summon Mimigool's uh, Cerberus to your opponent's side of the field. Uh, and then when your opponent activates effect, you can banish this card and then flip your Mimigool Cerberus, uh, activating its effects. Uh, yeah, so pretty cool. Uh, obviously, it shows also the um, the new Mimigool, Mimigool boss monster in the bottom of the artwork there, which would be interesting to see. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have that card today. Uh, the Mimigool Room is just a trap card. And its effect reads, special summon one Mimigool monster from your hand or deck to your field uh, or in face down defense position to your opponent's field. And then you can change one face up monster on the field to face down defense position. You can banish this card from your graveyard and then target any number of Mimigool cards you control, return them to the hand. You can only activate Mimigool room effect once per turn and only once that turn. Uh, I wonder how good it's going to be, how slow it's going to be, if it's going to be any way like... We've had some really bad stinkers of TCG exclusive archetypes in, in the past. So it'll be interesting to see if this will just be like Labyrinth 2.0. It seems like that kind of trap. Uh, not actually using trap, but like trapping your opponent deck. Um, making sure your opponent can't really do anything. Pretty much. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think uh, in the comment section down below. If you like the deck, if you think it's going to be interesting, if you think it's going to be any good. And um, yeah, 